we will now reflect on the past three years we have spent at Harry Ainley. Please welcome our class historians, Shashank Bhatt, Kobe Brodeur, Emma Brown, Gaurais Handel, and John Kim, who, who will present Grad Historians Secret Society. We're called the Grad Historian Secret Society. Separately, we're all very different. We like different things, we're in different departments, we have different friend groups. But one thing draws us together each year, stories. Each year we gather around this fire to share our strange and awesome tales. It's what got us together and it's what keeps bringing us back. Also, you know, graduating? This is a warning to all those who join us. You're gonna step out of the adult life and into the world of Harry Ainley High School. Watch where you're taking me. I almost tripped. Sorry, we're here. Great, can I take off the blindfold now? No, not yet. Wait, Emma, you're here too? Why can't I take off the blindfold? Because this is a secret society and you're not in it yet. Look, what do I have to do to take the blindfold off, okay? I'm, I'm afraid of the dark. I guess that answers that question. To take off the blindfold, you gotta tell us an Ainley story. A story? I've got a story about a really scary monster. Did you know that there was a vampire at Ainley? What? Here's how it goes. There was a vampire at Ainley. That's it? No, okay, so... <sighs> There was, it was the other day, by the way, and there was this vampire, right? And it was during second block, and he was looking to feast. Where's our stuff? Where's the jersey? <coughs> Where's the jersey? <sighs> Who has awoken me from my slumber? <laughs> the rotunda looks very slightly different. There is maybe a new projector, maybe a couple of lights. Wow, they really took a long time to do that, didn't they? <laughs> no matter, my time has arrived and I crave fresh blood. The skylight is covered in snow, so I will be safe in here for now. The hallways are empty, so it must be second block. I will wait in the theater for a meal, but for now, this granola bar will have to do. Um, excuse me, no eating in the theater. Oh, sorry. And put my costume back. I'll have you know, I made this cloak with the silk from the very first Amy grad composite. Right, sorry, didn't realize you were a fashion student, but there's no supervision, so I have to ask you to leave. I can't eat in here. I will have to wait in the rotunda for the bell. Ah, the good old classic Amy bell. Such a sweet and boring melody. How does it go again? <laughs> What is that horrible noise? It burns my ears. I must feast now. It should be lunch. The perfect time. Another beautiful day at Harry Ainley High School. I'm so glad I get the privilege to be principal of a school with <laughs> such a big impact to so many lives. Blue blood flows through my veins. Wait. I remember that, man. That's the vampire from when I went to Ainley. <laughs> I need to do something. Uh, young man, I need you to create a distraction. I need you to somehow get him outside without getting too close to him. Oh, okay. No, that's not what I meant. A fire alarm? Fire is the only thing that can destroy me. I might as well take my chances outside. <laughs> Please, give me that. I should check out motives before I make an announcement. A fire alarm? Oh, a false alarm. Anyways, back to feasting. Ah, the language hallway. The only place where my ridiculous accent isn't questioned. Africa again? Ah, a student who bears a striking resemblance to the trauma teacher from earlier. Must be a coincidence. What are you doing? 
Gah, there is no vitamin D in that blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is Ainley. It's kind of what we're known for. If you want vitamin D, go to the fashion room. The fashion room? Of course. <laughs> And he turned to dust in the light. The end. That was... That was terrible. Well, at least I told a story, right? But that's not even how it happened. Sure, he turned to dust, but not because he was a vampire. And this took place during Rotunda construction, not after. This is how it really happened. Is beautiful, but there is not enough space in the hallways to go around. I know what must be done in order for life to thrive. I must gather the infinity stones. I have heard of one of these stones in the art room, one with the power of all of space. Why are you all on the floor? Um, it's an art piece. Oh, what's it about? Global warming. Oh, I mean, I'm just working on what's going on at school. You guys seem like you're tackling a much more important topic. Yeah, it's a big thing that we all have to help with. Well, I'll let you get back to that. Oh, and rejoice, for your salvation has arrived. I just need to find the space stone. I don't know about a stone, but that paintbrush over there hasn't been cleaned since the beginning of time, so it's basically a stone. Ah, uh, the space stone. That was easy. Now I must find the reality stone. It shall grant me the power to bend reality to my will. I will find it in a place where reality has every meaning imaginable. Hi, how can I help you? I'm here for the reality stone. Did you pay your student council fees? Uh, no. Then you'll have to be over at the cashier's desk. Why are there so many kids here anyways? We're picking up our bus passes. Oh, okay. shall find the power stone born amongst all energy in the universe. I must go to the gym. Not a single soul here. Strange. No matter. I will find the stone on my own. I sense its power from the awards cabinet. What a helpful little sign. Now which one is the football award? These are all football awards. These are all volleyball awards. They just keep winning. <laughs> I'm sorry, little one. I feel the power coursing through my veins. The next stone is the time stone. I will find it where students capture time in an instant. Stop! That lens costs more than the budget for this entire video. 
I'll give you the stone. I knew you were a reasonable man. I guess we're in the end game now. You seek the Mind Stone. Yes. Do you know where it is? I guide those to a treasure I cannot possess. Why can you not possess it? I have exams tomorrow. I don't have the time to do the ritual. What is this ritual you speak of? You must give in to your mind and find peace the night before the exam. You mean, I just have to get a good night's sleep? How come no one at this school has gotten this stone yet? How hard can it be? Just try to fall asleep knowing that you have to study for the bio exam tomorrow. I will sacrifice my first block spare and halo to study. Oh, then you are stronger than me. Perfect. Mr. Olsen, I don't feel so good. And that's how it really went down. Wow, that was a much better story. Hey, why'd I get dusted again? Wait, wait, wait. I hear Shashank, John, Emma, and Colby. Shh. We're a secret society. You're all drama or French kids. What am I, just the token athletics kid? <laughs> we no. gotta get our funding somehow. Oh, God. By the way, I forgot to go over our one ground rule. No talking about it. It? The 2017 horror film starring Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Clown. Shh. No talking about it? Right. You know, I can't stop thinking about all those 2016 memes. Oh man, I miss all those memes. Let's take a moment to remember all those memes that we did lose along the way. Those memes that are as dead as... Vine. When we were in the theater during our grade 10 orientation, people around the world were being united by... Damn, Daniel! Back at it again with your dead memes. The dad. <laughs> the Arthur Fist meme. He's angry because his meme is gone. Drake's dance moves as in featured the 2016 hit Hotline Bling. I know when that Hotline Bling. It can only mean one thing. My meme is dead. Water bottle flipping and all those water bottles that we lost up in high places. I lost up in high places. The mannequin challenge. Well, they couldn't move with the meme culture ever left behind. We all fell in love with Salt Bay, related to distracted boyfriend, and became obsessed with fidget spinners. <laughs> we all joked about our tapes, bad baby, and lived in constant fear that the floor is lava. I still live on the edge. We embarrassed ourselves with the floss. <laughs> Exhibit A. The surprise Pikachu meme and all variations is this a pigeon changed my mind and the Thanos snap. Well, maybe the Thanos snap isn't exact. It's dead, shashank, and it doesn't feel so good. Tide pods. Well, memes follow the survival of the fittest. Riding the whip, baby shark. <gasps> baby shark. No, 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 no. Dead soon enough. Drake had us all dancing about moving cars and all manner of dances such as the shoot, but especially those featured in Fortnite. Wow, I can't believe we're gonna be adulting soon enough. Please don't remind us. Colby, you're in French immersion, right? Oh yeah. Is it really different from the English program? I guess a little. It's basically just like normal classes, except you only understand half the words. Well, I mean, I've always wondered what it would be like if I had taken French instead of English. I guess I wonder how it would be if I hadn't. You know what? I think I have a story about something that happened to me in grade 10. It was like your worst nightmare kind of situation. Your worst nightmare? You know how lost and scared we were back then? This story is about walking into the wrong classroom. <gasps> yeah, that would have been my worst nightmare. Exactly! This story is about to swap schedule.
Wow, first date, the school's so big. I got lost going to the rotunda. I know, at lunch, I tried to order food, and some tall guy kept yelling at us to pick a line. Yeah, I heard... <laughs> yeah, I heard him three halls down. Pasta, hot food, calorie ten cents, cookie, brownie, muffin, down to the left, down to the right, salt, pepper, butter. Drinks, tables, chairs, kids play cards, lock door directly behind you, pick a line! I can still hear him. <laughs> Guess that means this third block. Yeah, um, on my schedule it says that I have physics 20, but I didn't take science 10 yet. You probably took it in junior high. I took it in junior high, but it didn't transfer because I had it in second block. Oh, well, it says I'm being talked by this guy named Dave Visor. I, I think you mean Visser. Oh! I, I heard something about him. Something about a curse? Or maybe curses? Wait, wait, wait. You mean he's cursed? Something like that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Put your phone away, he's not gonna text you back. You stole that from Spears. Well, steal is a very strong word. Anyways, today we're learning about gravity. Yeah, they called it a spooky force because everything back in the day had this sort of ooey wooey sort of feel to it. You know what else was a spooky force? Magnets. Wait, is he talking about magnets or gravity? Please. Well, all of it is fig. Was our sensor beep? Why did you censor the word physics? <laughs> it's a bad word to me. So I've got this story I love telling kids on the first day of gravity. Just remember, all of this is metaphorical. None of this is real. <laughs> What's your name? John. John. All right, here it goes. <clears throat> I feel a force of attraction towards you, John. When I walk by your desk, I feel myself being attracted towards you. And as Newton's third law states, if you attract me, then I attract you. But as I double the distance between us, I feel the attraction between us divides by four. And as I walk further and further away, I feel your attraction less and less. And I start to feel an attraction towards Emma. Do you feel it, Emma? Oh, he's talking about the force of gravity. Every teacher likes to pull this on the first day of gravity. You know what? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I haven't even taken science 10 yet. You haven't taken science 10 yet? You gotta be kidding me. I'll just go ask my AP. True story. Wait, something kind of similar happened to me. I feel a story coming oh, up. Oh no, the last one you told was rough to say the least. Trust me, okay, this one's gonna be better. It all happened on the first day of the new semester. Well, I guess this is room 352. Wait, what are all these flags on the wall? And why can't I read any of the posters? What class is this anyways? Et, etudes social, socialis? But I, don't, I don't even speak Spanish. This is a mistake. I'm getting out of here. Bonjour tout le monde! Bonjour, Bonjour Monsieur Farley! Ay, 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 Jonathan, n'as-tu pas accepté pour les études sociales aujourd'hui? No, this is a mistake. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not even in French. Puis tu ne me réponds pas au même en français? Tabarouette, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> no, no, no. There's been a misunderstanding. Either way, I'm pretty sure John's full name isn't even Jonathan. Ben, quand même. On commence aujourd'hui comme d'habitude avec 10 minutes de lecture. Looks like reading time? Well, I'll go on my phone since I can't understand any of this anyways. Hi, Jonathan. Range ton téléphone. Okay, okay. Well, how long can 75 minutes of class really be? Trois heures plus tard. 
OK. Donc, je suis à McDonald's, puis je mets mon commande pour tes crêpes. Ensuite, j'ouvre la sac et tu sais qu'est-ce que je trouve? Les pancakes! Aïe, aïe, aïe! Jabawette! OK, I'm pretty sure... I, I may not have understood most of what he just said there, but I'm pretty sure pancakes weren't in any war. Huh? Oh, let them eat pancake! Sais-tu? Ceci me rappelle d'une temps quand j'étais à Peace River. <sighs> Saved by the bell. Hi, Jonathan, assis-toi. Um, what? The bell doesn't excuse you, he does. You're gonna be lucky if we're here longer than a minute. You're, you're joking, right? That French guy ended up keeping class 10 minutes into lunch. And that student was so traumatized, he had to avoid the language hallway for months, getting him caught in rotunda traffic between every single class. The end. Whoa. That was... Terrifying. And a good story. I think we're ready for our decision. She's so good. Okay, we do need a sports oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Our decision is you're in. Really? Welcome to the Secret Grad Historian Society. To finish your initiation, we must honor our tradition of passing on the cloak. You guys got a sports kid? Yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> you are the chosen one. Will you stay for the musical number? Ah, uh, sorry guys. I already did mine last year. But uh, have a good weekend, all right? See you, Alex. Bye, Alex. Bye, Alex. I love See you. Next love week. you, Alex. I love you, Alex. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say musical number? Didn't you know? We were gonna do Despacito, but decided against it. And Africa by Toto was a little too tough to sing. Hit it. Somebody once told me You should get going The halls are pretty big at Haley. We were looking kinda lost With our maps up on our phones When our classes were all in one hallway Three years later and it feels like forever Made some new friends and it made us all better Five more weeks and we can have fun But there's still more school and diplomas to be done So much to do, so much to see So what's wrong with taking a gap year? You'll never know if you don't go So go somewhere with the window Hey now, you're a titan Gonna leave a let Gonna see time for the real world Go to uni, be free All that time in blue We've been here for three hours? What? I need to go home. You need to go home. We all need to go home. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. Can't believe we really are graduating. All right, hoods on. <laughs> I declare this meeting of the Grad Historian Secret Society over.